Hey there. Um, I want to uh, talk to you about probably the most common question I get from uh, students, from um, clinic attendees, from friends, from people that know I play guitar. I uh, even had a text today about this, and that is, uh, what gear should I buy? What amp should I buy? What guitar should I buy? Um, and uh, um, it's that's a very difficult question to answer because everybody's budget's different. Um, if my sister's looking for a guitar for her my nephew, and they only want to spend a couple hundred bucks, then I kind of have a couple guitars in my head that I can throw out and say, hey, you know, get this one or get that one. Um, but for the most part, you know, that's it's just every everybody's needs are different. Um, and so uh, someone asked me, I need an amp and a guitar um, and I have a thousand dollars. What what should I spend on each? And, I, and my initial reaction was to say five hundred dollars on the guitar, five hundred dollars on the amp. Uh, but then I got to think about it, thinking about it and realized that that I could have the best guitar ever made. Uh, I could have a 59 Les Paul or a 54 Stratocaster. I could have an amazing guitar, and if I put it through a crappy amp, it's going to sound pretty crappy. However, on the on the converse, if I had a crappy guitar and put it through a decent amp, it's going to sound pretty good, you know. And and keeping in mind, most of your sound is comes more from your hands and your knowledge and your heart than it does from the instruments. And I know that's a little bit of um, vague, but uh, that's kind of the truth. Well. I was doing a session at a friend's house um, a few years ago, and he had this Squire Stratocaster in the corner there, and I picked it up and I plugged it into the amp, and it was like, wow, that thing sounds amazing. <laughs> I think it, it just had this this spanky, funky, 70s kind of cruddy sound that none of my guitars had because most of my guitars were too refined or too um, had, were too good a quality. And so... I uh, immediately, on my way home, stopped off at a local guitar center and I went shopping and I played literally about 20, 15 or 20 um, squires. And uh, until I found that one that I really felt like had a, had, a, had the spank, I mean, I remember taking two or three at a time and going back into the room with a good amp in it and uh, and cranking the amp up and trying to get that sound uh, that I had heard just, just, you know, a couple hours prior to that and found this one and it's pretty darn close and it, it actually may be even better I don't know it's hard to tell but uh, it's a $99 Squire Strat um, I think it's made in China I don't even know yep crafted in China um, and I think they sell them now for 119 or 129 is a little bit of a price increase but it's got it's got that that nasally kind of out of phase thing that, And on the on the the neck pickup, and it even had nines on it, which I never play with nines. And these, I think I've had this for three years. It's probably the same original guitar, uh, the same original strings. I haven't changed a thing on it. Uh, I've played it on a lot of sessions. I've even played it on stage just for fun. Uh, but I've brought it to a lot of sessions. I've played it on television shows and and um, it's got a great sound. In fact, I recently played it on a new recording for uh, the next Justin Bieber record, and we did, I mean, I did like a funky, uh, funky guitar part that, that was, um, that I triple tracked like 10 minutes of, and uh, they chopped out the best parts of it and put it into a song. So uh, this is <laughs> $99, cannot go wrong with that. Like I said, the better, uh, in, the better place to put your money is at the back end of the sound. Um, and then the better place to put your, your time is in practicing and playing and, and uh, working with others. So uh, anyway, that's, that's my first installation of Cheap Guitar God, the $99 Squire. Thanks. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.